Exactly four months ago, I told you I was building a new platform to host my content from scratch called Fireship.io. And today is the day I finally get to show it to you. But I want to first start by saying thank you to everybody who supports this channel. It's amazing to even have the chance to build something like this, which wouldn't be possible without this YouTube channel and this community. And it's the community that really drives me to pursue the mission of Fireship.io, which is to create resources that increase developer happiness and productivity. But the crazy thing is, if you were to ask me where do I see myself in two years in January 2017, it definitely wouldn't be here. At that point, I hadn't made a single video and didn't even think I was capable of doing a voiceover, let alone producing a video that anybody would want to watch. I probably would have gotten started a lot sooner had it not been for self-doubt. So if you're thinking about doing something like this, my recommendation is to just go for it. This channel is approaching 100,000 subscribers, which is just crazy. But I feel like we're barely just getting started. There's so much amazing technology that is accessible to the average developer, and I really hope I can help unlock those technologies so people can build products that make other people's lives better. So that's my motivation for building Fireship, but why am I building this instead of continuing with angularfirebase.com? Let me first point out that it's not because my opinion of the underlying technology has changed. In fact, they're only getting better and I used Angular and Firebase to build Fireship.io. So the real motivation behind this change is that I want full control over the platform so I can offer more content at a lower price to everybody. If you're an existing pro member, you know that we have some of the content on the main site, some of it's hosted on Teachable as full courses, and some of it is on LeanPub in the form of an ebook. With Fireship, everything is under one roof, so there's no jumping back and forth between platforms. In addition, the name change makes it more flexible to cover additional content outside of Angular and Firebase like Rust, Flutter, etc. And third, I'm a developer and I like building cool shit, so fuck it, it was something to do. But is it actually cool? Well, I'll give you the tour and you can decide. One of the most fundamental goals is to present content in a way that's friendly for developers. The overall theme somewhat resembles VS Code, and the code snippets themselves are designed to look like tabs in your editor. So you should notice a huge improvement in the aesthetics of the site versus angularfirebase.com. And everything is designed with CSS variables, which means we can just click a button and switch over to a light theme or a solarized theme if we want. And the total CSS payload for the site is only six and a half kilobytes. The next thing you'll notice is the search, which is also designed to behave similar to VS Code. The search is powered by Algolia. Simply start typing and you'll see the results appear below. The next unique thing about the site is its integration with Slack. If you're not already a member of our Slack channel, I highly recommend you jump in there because it's the best way to chat and discuss content. But the problem with Slack is that conversations are lost to the Slack archives and they're also very hard to find if you're looking for something specific. So I decided to build a Slack bot that would take our conversations about a specific post on Fireship and mirror them on the post itself. This is an alternative to traditional blog post comments that I think offers a better experience, especially for developers. Let's imagine you have a question about a specific lesson. You simply grab the URL for that lesson and ask a question to the question bot on Slack. Any replies on that thread will go directly to the comment section on the post itself. This means we can chat about a specific topic without losing that valuable information to the Slack archives. And if you have a question, Slack is a much quicker way to get a response on a question versus say discuss comments or something similar. Now getting back to the site itself, my goal is to release full courses with a greater frequency. I've decided to offer the Cloud Functions Master Course for free, so all you have to do is log into Fireship.io and you'll automatically have access to the videos in this course. If you take this course, all I ask is that you give me some feedback about what you'd like to see different or improved with the course format. Now let's talk about performance. This is easily the fastest site I've ever built that is fully interactive. It leverages the full power of Angular and Firebase, yet can achieve first paints in under two seconds and Lighthouse scores of 95 plus. Then the site's using web components and we maintain stateful data between those web components with a special routing strategy. This means you get page transitions that are usually around 20 milliseconds, I have logging for this currently enabled, so all you have to do is open up the console, navigate around, and you'll see how fast the page transition actually is. Well, at the same time, you'll see that your authentication state if you're logged in doesn't change because that stateful data is maintained between those changes. And if you wanna see how I do all this, you can reverse engineer it because the entire project is open sourced. If we look at the project on GitHub, you can see that it's broken down into four main projects. We use Hugo to manage the content. We use Angular Elements for the interactive web components. The CSS is contained in the design folder. And lastly, we have cloud functions for everything on the back end. So the important thing here is that we can all now collaborate to make this project better. So if you find a typo on the site or some small issue, you can simply open up a pull request and contribute. 
and everything is wired up with continuous delivery, so once your pull request gets merged, it will automatically be deployed to the live site. There's so much more to talk about here on the technical side of things, but I think I'll save that for a live stream later this month. So if you have questions, feel free to post them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them when we do that live stream. And I might even pick out a random comment or two to win a t-shirt when we do that stream. Now before we wrap things up, I want to talk about my future plans. I'm going to be shifting from develop mode to content mode. That just means I'm going to be spending a lot of time creating new content and also revising past content on angularfirebase.com. I will also be revising the Stripe payments course from scratch. When that's ready in the near future, you'll be able to build the exact same payment system that I use for my apps. I just want to finish off by saying thank you to everybody for all the continued support. It's the driving force behind all my decision making and I've tried to sum that up in a small manifesto that you can read on the site. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.